decided to have a, a day out in uh, Frigolina. I've been there before, but I can't remember what it looks like, but it's supposed to be very scenic and very beautiful. So I thought I'll spend the day there today. So I'll see you there. The streets are very narrow. I think we're here now. Come on. So there's a little train. I just might go on that. As you can see, it's very hilly. I think the weather's about 17, 18 today, so. As you can see, very hilly, very hilly. But no hat is. So I think I'll just follow all these people. I'm to clue where I'm going. So I'll just follow all these. Follow all these people. I'm knackered already. There's a few cafes along the way, so I think I'll be using them, utilizing them. A couple of beers. I'll tell you what, I am absolutely knackered. I'm only about 10% of the way. I'm to, like I said, I'm to clue where I'm going, but I'm just following all these steps up. Hey, bye gum. <laughs> and if I swivel it round, this is how far I've come. Getting very warm now. And I'm just having a sit down on somebody's step, I'm sure they won't mind. I'm absolutely naked. And I am to clue where I'm going, like I said. And just following all these steps to the top. It'd be a lot easier coming down. <laughs> it always is. But with the weather being very warm, it's very hilly. We're right to the top of the mountain now. Oh, so I'm just enjoying a few minutes rest. I think uh, I should have gone on the train. <laughs> it's a lot easier. I wouldn't like to be a postman around here. Well, never mind. It is what it is. He buy a gum, as they say in Bolton. That's nice. Little prince. Looking forward to going into a cafe now. Right, life saver. I think I'll have some water. <sighs> nice and fresh. Oh. Comes in hand. This goes up right up into the mountain and you can get lost on the mountain pass. Well, I don't know about that, last time I went to the mountain pass I was on a Greek island called Ikaria. I went looking for a shop at 20 to 2. I didn't get back till three o'clock in the morning. Lost my way on the mountain, so I don't fancy doing that again. Hey, bye gum. Hey. I don't know how the old people go on here. I've lost all my breakfast, I'm sure I have. Egg, bacon, tomatoes, full monte, as they say, English breakfast. So I need to lose that. I don't want to go back to England looking like fried tuck. So the more exercise I get, 
the better. Yeah, I could just do it one of them. This must be the mountain pass. I think I'll uh, give this a miss, I think. See all of the clouds is dotted around the hills. I'll go to that house and I'll see what it's like from there. Did you see the sea in the background there? I think behind there, if you can see his name. Or Nerja, depending where you come from. I'm quite high up. I'm a bit halfway up now. And it's getting very windy actually. As you can see. Around there, I think that's where I'm supposed to be heading. I think I'll take the easy option now and go on a train. Oh, it's still very high. Oops. Like I said, you can see the sea there in the background. Beautiful day today. I've gone a bit halfway and I'm just making myself work on my way down now. I'm quite peckish now. But uh, as you can see, I'm still quite high up. So. It's all quite breezy. I think the further you go, it's going to be more breezy. But you can see the sun in the background there. That's quite low. So I'm gonna make my way down, have a drink, something to eat, and then I might go on the train. So I'll speak later. in my rest now in a cafe in Friliana. So this is what I'm eating. Ham and cheese, baguettes, to drown it down with a Coca-Cola. Hopefully I'll be able uh, to go on that train. Um, around Fr Friliana, I keep saying it's Frigliana, isn't it? So, uh, cheers. On a little train ride around Frigliana. They cost um, 3.5 euros, 3.5 euros. I think the ride is about 25 minutes. You've actually got commentary on the train about the history and the culture of Frigliana. So I'm really looking forward to that. Titanic. Welcome to the tourist land of Frigliana. We're going to make a round to the new town. It's a very nice view of the mountains. The Sierra Mijara mountains with the river. The Igeron River with the caves. The coast views of Merca and the Mediterranean Sea. We come back to here again to the Ingenio Square. The Ingenio is a big mansion to the right hand side. It's a 16th century ancestral house. And nowadays they only sugar, cane, honey factory. It's the only one in all Europe. This mansion was constructed with the rest of the old castle. The Marceline castle that was at the top to the hill, was at the top to the village. 
in the 1569 was a bit more revolution, and our village was a big battle. The Christ and the spirit of the moons from the castle had destroyed it. What remains, the main prison man of Riquiliana, Sir Inigo Manrique Drada, was such of his mansion. Later was a palace, and nowadays the sugar cane honey factory. We want to see a moment to the left, top left. A hand to the ingenio to the left hand side is the three houses in the mountain, the big world to the right hand side each. These houses was a oil mills. The big world to the right was the water channel where full of to stone each one the water move the stone or press the sugar cane. It's a more representative image of Rikiliana. Top left, the big mansion, the palace, the factory, and behind it the three water mills. Sugar cane and oilies, factories and water mills. Rikiliana is located in the Nador Reserve, Sierra Mikara, Tejeda, Nalama. More than 300 meters above the sea level, it has one of the most spectacular view of the Costa del Sol. Remains of different civilizations, seated in Spain, have been discovered in this area. Behind to the trench on the right hand side, behind to the small village, is the highest mountain. It's called the Pope, the Fortress. There was the Roman rest. There was the Roman fort, second century after Christ. This fort was destroyed in the 5th century after Christ. This street is straight down at 1 km from here, in one place that is called El Terridra Sombras, was discovered a Penitia Cemetery from the 7th century before the Christ. But the more important civilization was in Maslin. Living in our country and on top of it, and is an our village is a typical. This little village has played a leading role in various important episodes in the history of our country. The most important of it was a crack battle. It was the most epic and bloody battle between the Christians and the Moriscos, to which made the expulsion from the Napoli Kingdom. Histories about bandits, bandoleros, against the French troops of Napoleon, and histories about poor Mrs. Garilla against the dictator Francisco Franco were right in these mountains, and they left a very important legacy in our culture and our people. Frikiliana has used the agricultural tourist market garden at mountain to make its living. Oil, wine, and sugar cane honey, above all of that's products that are a guarantee of origin and quality. This is the only place in all Europe where the sugar cane honey is produced, and you will also be able to buy at the different shops that you will find along your visit. also be able to know our gastronomy. In our restaurant, we can taste our typical dishes, such as kids, the bread plants with the garlic, the meals, the vegetable soap, and the fruits with sugar, cane, honey. Nowadays in our agriculture, we have a tropical fruit too. Because we have a very nice weather, it's a tropical weather. There are avocados, chili mollos, mangoes, View the sea, and to the left hand side is our mountains, the Sierra Almijara Mountains. The top height is only 2,000 meters. Behind to the small village is a small hill, where was a castle, it was a big wall around to the top to the hill. Was a straight before went to the highest mountain to the left hand side, the fort, El Fuerte. There was a Roman fort, and there was the battle, the crack battle, the battle of the rock. 
4,000 Moors against the 6,000 Christians. 2,000 was dead in the battle. The other 2,000 was expelled to the north of Africa. Right eyes of Venice view is the coast views of Medica and the Mediterranean Sea. And here in the right hand side, we can see two feet together. At the right, the last one, at the top, between the trees, is a small white chapel with a cross. It's a painless cross chapel. We want to see later better. The painless cross history, born in the 18th century, when one Spanish ship that came from Italy, Naples, when passes to this coast, were a strong storm. The captain, Francisco Pinto, a small report, and promised it, if he and his sailors on that, they went to the first hit to the first mountains and construction a small chapel. The chief stopped the vision death, and the captain and the sailors came to this hill and construction this chapel. Here, Rafael says the Mirador, the painted cross Mirador. It's a very nice view at the mountains, right down the river, the caves, and behind it is a lovely view that the coast views of Nerja and the Mediterranean Sea. Here in the Mirador, you can see one picture, that the picture we painted the chapel. Behind to the picture, two hills together. At the right, that the has one. At the top is a tree, to the right of the tree, is a very small chapel. It's not church, it's one giant of chapel. It's the first hit from the beach and a lovely view from here right down. River, caves, coast, sea. There are many caves in our mountains. It's for the water that really been on years. Fifteen sand of the mountains, washing the rock and making this stalactite and stalamite. Most important of it is the caves of Nerja, at five kilometers from here. In this corner to the right hand side of view, because it's very near, the other side of the river, and there's a big road wall, wide road wall. If you look at the right in front of us, we can see the big road wall. In the middle to the left, in the final to the left hand side, is one cave that is close it. A small absence, a small door, a small wall that goes to the cave. It's a bad cave. I repeat, you see in the middle to the, to the right, the road wall, you see in the middle to the left, you see what cave is closing. A small access, a small wall, a small door to close the cave. It's the back cave. The back cave is to the left of the rock wall. There was the school of Prince Marius from Frickiniana, and from there that 5,000 before the Christ, 7,000 years ago, where the human limit or the caves work in agriculture, the livestock, and were up to Sherman. All of this at the mountain right down near one are hollow, and the biggest one cave discovered in Frickiniana, the dark cave and the vast cave. And I love the view from here right down. It's the coast village of Nerka and the Mediterranean Sea. The next mirador, the Sierra Mijara Montes mirador. It's one monster that called in our cheek, 1,800 meters. Here, the Rafael San Severinas view is our mountains, the Sierra Mikara Mountains. There are four highest mountains with 3,700 meters and 8,900 meters. Until the old castle. 
the castle was destroyed. But nowadays the channel bring back the water to Pekiliana. It's more than 800 years coming water to our village. This is great. This is Mirador, the Gados Mirador. We want to see from here everything. The mountains, the river, the channel, where was a castle, the sugar cane honey factory, the water mills. For that one, we want to stop here five minutes. If you want, you can get off and take a picture. I'm going to spend you a big one to the natural park. It's a five minutes. You can get off if you want. Beautiful. Just stopped off for five minutes to take a few pictures. And we're on our way back now. All this month that was very important for the people from Frikiriana. Many men walked there many years ago. Nowadays, natural park and anybody can approach, take nothing. You cannot miss our festival. It's difficult to spread with words any such of the Holy Week, which is through the shocking protest of the Holy Friday. The San Sebastian is a patron Sunday in January. 20th of January. The San Antonio de Padua is in 13th of June. It's a fair in Frikiliana. The Caliba is in February and the Festival Cross are in May. And we cannot go on without mentioning the World Now Saba Conference, the Basketball Campus and the Three Cultura Festival in which different activities are organized such as conference, exhibition, testing, concerts, theatre. It's a very common that people from other culture, other village, meet this festival as it happened in the early 15th century, when Jews, Muslims and Christians live together in Trigiliana. There are several monuments that you can visit in our village. The most representative of them is in Kenya, a Manrique Drala, 16th century ancestral house. Near one is Casa Rapero, where is the tourist surface information at the town hall. And the old town that you must visit walking is the main church, San Antonio de Padua Church, 1676. Near one is the old fountain and the three cultural fountain. It's a very nice place at the old town near to the church. At the other side to the old town is the Santo Cristo de la Caña Chapel from 18th century. The Muslim castle that was in the mountain by the pigs, which was almost destroyed after the crack battle. And lastly, the modern had neighbor put, and the old quarter were the street and squares that kept the Arabic architecture most poorly kept in Andalusia. This is why Frikiliana is the most awarded village for its beauty and preservation.
Mrs. Fuentes Santana de Little Square. She was a teacher that worked here more than 40 years. Next street, Little San Sebastian Street. Next to the right, at the top right, Little San Sebastian Chapel and the Ferenchery in Frigiliana. Next one, top right, 17 Ferenchery Chapel and the Ferenchery. This part is the old Arve New Town. It's the more similar than the old Arve Street. There, the houses are building, one at the top to another one. The streets many houses one way, houses another way. It's a very narrow street. Many corners, flowers. Every house is white in Prigiliana. You can see any more color or your white. The most beautiful street in our trip, the most interesting at the old in the street, is the next one to the right. It's Callejón del Tequedor. It's a typical Arabian street, belong to the old town, but it's inside to the new town. This one, top right, and you come take it over. And in the final this one with the corner to the right of Marisa restaurant. We can to the bar one minute walking is the tourist office information at the town hall. In front of us is an incredible game. The big mansion, the palace, the factory, behind the scene means the water channel. To the left hand side is the old town. The Morrison Street is the most beautiful place in our village, but you must visit Brooklyn. We just finished our tour. Thank you for visiting. Thank you and with me. Thank you very much. Well, this is the end of the train ride. Fairly enjoyable, very knowledgeable about the culture and the history of the Christians and the Muslims. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please like the video. So I'll speak again. Bye.